Hey, hello, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. Um, today, on today's project, we will be making these um, three uh, kind of shadow effects. I'm saying shadow because uh, it's not really a shadow, but kind of this loop, or I don't know what you want, what you want to call it. But it's all connected, as you can see. It's so really making a, a using the um, gradient reverse to create this kind of depth. All right, let's get started. Uh, I will hide everything. All right, starting with the n the first one. I'll make a new uh, a new rectangle by choosing the rectangle tool. You. And this is my options. I'm not putting any stroke yet. Now I'm gonna make a new layer, and then I'm gonna make an another one, another rectangle, and I'm gonna give it a. We go. I'm gonna give it a gradient overlay. Now we go to uh, layer style and go to gradient overlay. All right. I'm gonna choose. Uh, this pinkish color, I really like it. And uh, make a new layer. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Alright, and then go like this. go ahead this panel and then go to gradient and choose the same one but hit reverse alright now uh, drag this under everything and copy that by just uh, grabbing that to uh, to this new layer icon and click uh, or hit control and your command T in your keyboard then hit uh, uh, right click then flip horizontal and uh, click on your move tool then hit apply and uh, just move this to, to the left side I'm moving it using my, shi my shift and uh, the uh, left uh, arrow key in my uh, keyboard all right now copy these two um just click uh, on an, an uh, on a layer and then hit uh, control and press on the other one now grab these by just grabbing them on your uh, new uh, new layer icon hit control and your command and t then hit a uh, right click and then rotate 180 degrees then press apply now i'm going to do the same thing but I'm gonna move it uh, up. All right. Now we are done. See, it's kind of really cool uh, effect. You can add stuff if you want to, but I don't want to make the tutorial real long. I made this. Uh, I just gave it a noise, and then I did. I, I added stroke from here, and said the opacity. Uh, not not the opacity. I changed the mode to uh, uh, soft light, and I lowered the opacity. I don't want to get to this uh, right now because I don't want to make the tutorial too long. I'm just showing you the effect, and mainly it's not this. Uh, it's this part, th this uh, this triangle, and these four layers that would hold the the object that is between alright let me close this group make a new group and uh, on this one I'm gonna do it uh, this way and make uh, another one like this and maybe move it a little bit yeah And 
and uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in this one, but my uh, pen tool settings is uh, these. Uh, this exclu exclude exclude uh, overlapping shapes, and uh, this align to selection, and uh, I didn't choose this. I have my rubber band. Uh, uh, I didn't check it. Unchecked. All right. Now make a new layer. Well, uh, let's give this a uh, a gradient overlay. I just double clicked on that layer, and let's choose a this color. Hit OK, OK. Now on a le on a new layer, uh, click on. Uh, I'm sorry. Never mind. All right, sorry. Um, now uh, let's zoom in. The same thing. Just um, click on this point on the edge, and then go like this, like this, and like this. Make a new layer, which is. Uh, well, not new layer, but hit on your uh, on that panel, and then go to gradient. This will pops up, and choose the blue that we chose, and hit reverse. Put it behind everything. Send it to the back. Then uh, don't copy it. Uh, th this is more professional. Uh, get your um, your ruler, which is uh, this one, the rulers, and just drag it to here, so you, so you know where you started. And uh, hit on this place. Well, I'm sorry. Make a new layer, then hit on this place, and get it to the edge, then redo it like this just close your path and go to gradient choose this blue that we chose and go to reverse and there you go it's really cool um, let me see I'm sorry Alright, just doesn't look that bluish, but that's the way. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna move on to, to our uh, uh, ribbon thing thingy. Um, so uh, kind of the same thing, but you just drove the path and then uh, that's it. Alright, let me start off. Doesn't really matter how you how you make your shape. And let's give it a gradient overlay with this color. Hit OK. Now we'll duplicate this. Hit Control and T and flip it. And position it the way you want it. Now let's choose both of them and rotate them. Now zoom in, make a new layer. I'm gonna put this under everything. Click on this edge and this edge. Just bump it a little bit. All right. And uh, make a gradient. Uh, I don't really remember which color we chose. I think this one. Hit reverse. 
and I think the colors is uh, kind of too similar. Maybe bring it down a little bit, both of them. Here, okay, okay. As you can see, created this shadow or kind of depth, and just tweak your path. Um, this is not a perfect one, but you can do your own. And this is what I've done. I've tried it, um, and I I've tweaked it a little bit. But uh, just do your own. I hope you like my tutorial. And if you are asking, uh, what's the purpose of this stuff? Actually, uh, it helps you on your um, when you're designing your uh, web design or layout, and like maybe you want to use the navigation bar or your sidebar. You can create these effects. I mean, not the ribbon, but <laughs> these uh, these two. And um, hope you like my tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and uh, stay tuned. And make sure also to uh, comment and rate and uh, subscribe. Right, thank you, guys. Bye bye.